Today's video, I'm going to be doing a 30 minute clean with me. I work from home full time, so I'm here all the time. So sometimes during my lunch break, I like to take the 30 minutes and clean my house to get done some of the to-dos that I have on my list. I feel like I'm still digging out from Thanksgiving, getting everything back in order and clean. So I do have quite a list to still get through. So let's see how much of it I can get through today during my lunch break. I'm gonna set the time on my watch so that I know when my time is up. Set time to 30 minutes. All right, let's get right into it. I'm starting off in my kitchen as usual I appreciate having a clean kitchen a nice cleaned out sink to feel like my day is going well and I can use it whenever needed so I'm gonna load the dishwasher there was a lot of dishes in here from breakfast and some from the night before Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I know this time of year is super busy. There is so much going on, tons of things to do throughout the day in this holiday season. If you are new, welcome. My name is Bridget. I am a wife, a mom, and a dog mom. You will see my dog Millie later on during this video. She always pops in. It is during the day. My son goes to a program during the day while I work, which works out really well. So he has his little friends and can socialize and learn different things and then I can still work. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'm just hand washing some dishes that I don't put in the dishwasher, then I'll scrub out the sink. If you are in the United States, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. We host here every year and it was so much fun. We have a lot of family that come and it was so great to see everyone. And my son seemed to really enjoy having all of his cousins here to play with. It is quite a mess after to clean up and I keep thinking to myself, I should have filmed me cleaning cause it was a lot. There are a lot of people who help during the day, make sure things are getting cleaned somewhat, but once everybody leaves, there's still a whole bunch to do, and I like to do it the night that everybody leaves, so then in the morning, I don't come down feeling so overwhelmed. So I did do majority of it right after all of our guests had gone. So maybe next year I will put that on my schedule to film a after Thanksgiving clean with me because it was messy and most of the time my house is not that messy. But for the holidays, it is no big deal because we all had such a great time. It's already December 1st, so I put together my schedule for the month of December. Here it is on the screen. I will post it on my community section of YouTube so you can go there as well. Don't forget to subscribe so you can become part of my community and always keep up with what I'm doing and what I have going on for the month. Go in the community section and comment down underneath the picture which video you're most looking forward to for the month of December. I 
don't know what it is, but cleaning the sink is so satisfying and honestly, I have to say I find it to be pretty relaxing. I find cleaning as a whole to be relaxing. I like organizing, making sure things are in their place and having everything clean, especially after it is all done. You have a nice, clean, refreshing place to enjoy your time and play with your kids or whatever it is that you're going to be doing. Leave a comment down below if you are like that too. Do you find cleaning to be relaxing or do you find it to be stressful? I'm wiping down all the counters with the Clorox Centivia in the coconut spray. This is my absolute favorite. It makes your house smell like coconut, beachy, coastal scent, and it is my absolute favorite. If you have not tried it, go to your local Walmart. Hopefully they will have it. I was very happy to see that they had it recently. Normally they just have it seasonally for summer, so maybe they just had extra bottles from the summer or I'm hoping that they will just have it all year round because it is the best scent ever. We normally have our air fryer here. It's one of those extra large air fryers from Walmart, the beautiful line from G Drew Barrymore. We do love it. It works great. I just think that it is huge and takes up the entire counter. During the holidays, we always just store it down in our basement because it doesn't fit in any of our cabinets. Uh, but I am loving not having it on this counter, so maybe it won't come back until we actually are going to use it because we don't use it every single day, just here and there. So maybe I can convince my husband to just bring it out when we need it and then put it back because doesn't this look so much better with like a more clear, clean counter? It makes me so much happier and there are so many other things that I could do in this area for decorations that I think would be much cuter and more functional for a kitchen as opposed to having a huge air fryer here. Leave a comment down below what you think of this. Now I'm just quickly vacuuming the kitchen. Now moving on to the laundry room, I always try to start a load of laundry before I start my work day so then during my lunch break I can switch it over. I had done these towels the day before, I just didn't get a chance to fold them yet so I'm going to quickly fold them and then switch over the loads of laundry. I wash some of our clothes and then I have to put my son's clothes in the wash to get them all cleaned up as well. I hope this video so far is giving you tons of cleaning motivation. I hope that you are learning that it only takes a few minutes to get some of these tasks that seem to be so time consuming or daunting off of our list. 
So just take whatever time you have during your day in the mom cracks of life to get some of these things knocked off your list. Once you start them, I'm sure that you'll find they didn't take any time at all. It was just thinking about them and agonizing over them. All these to do's that we have to do actually might hold us up more, causes a little bit more anxiety and cause us not to get them done because we are just overthinking, which is such a mom thing to do. I know for myself, I try my best every day to do at least something. So then I feel like I am staying on top of things throughout my week and also saves me some time because I'm not doing everything all at once all the time. Just taking a little bit of time here and there to get some of these tasks done. So if you work from home like I do, take your lunch break every once in a while and do some of the cleaning. I do this a couple days a week to take my lunch break to do some cleaning tasks and my husband definitely notices when he comes home sometimes he's like wow it's super clean in here from when he left for the day so it is such a benefit that we get the opportunity to work from home I just have a little bit of tidying to do here in the living room. We played in the living room this entire weekend, so it got cleaned quite well, and there wasn't any toys because my son had not played in here since the day before. I definitely need to vacuum though. My dog is a black lab and there is always black hair everywhere, so I try to vacuum every single day to make sure that it is not covering the entire floor. I love how this room looks with all the Christmas decorations. I do need to get some lights for the garland that's on the fireplace. I did just post my Christmas decorate with me on Tuesday. If you missed it after you watched this video, go on over and check it out. We do still need to decorate the tree. It's not completed yet. We just haven't had time, but I'm not sure. Maybe we'll leave it like this. Having a one-year-old that's working out pretty well. He's not phased by it at all. And I'm a little concerned once I put the we have like Christmas balls that we would put on there, then he might become interested.
I had to leave the volume on for that so you can hear how ridiculous she is when I vacuum the room if she stays in it. Most of the time she'll run away and just run upstairs because she doesn't like the vacuum, but if she decides she's going to stay in the room, which today she is because the sun is beaming in and she loves to lay in the sun, so I'm just completely disrupting her nap, she will attack the vacuum. Now I'm using the Swiffer Power Mop to quickly mop in this area. I was trying my best to get done as much as I could within this half hour. I knew I was running against the clock at this point, so I'm hopeful that I was able to just get at least this main kitchen area done, and then later on in the evening I had to do the rest of it. I did that back area first because that's where Luca's high chair is and he makes a complete mess when he eats so it's always in dire need of a good cleaning so I wanted to make sure I had that all done before he came home and we did his snack and dinner for him to clean to make more of a mess and then I went back to working on some other areas that I knew were a little bit more dirty like where my dog's bowl is that's always a mess too do the high traffic areas when you're on a time crunch so then you're getting some of the cleaning done and then can worry about the rest of it later if you need to. Here's my timer is starting to go off. I reached my 30 minute mark and when my lunch is over, thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. I hope this gave you lots of motivation to get some cleaning done as quickly as you can in the short time that you're allotted. Join me back here on Tuesday for a new Sunday reset. Hope you have a really great weekend.